we are going to look at the costing of uh, the irrigation and uh, in this section we are going to look at uh, half an acre as our reference and uh, we have done some costing in US dollars on uh, uh, the cost that it will cost you uh, to do an irrigation in your farm if you have half an acre and uh, we are just going to use half an acre if you have uh, maybe less than that then it's going to cost you maybe roughly half of what you are going to see for half an acre for one acre still you are going to maybe double that and you are going to see uh, first of all uh, when you look at the borehole um, make, uh, doing the borehole we require more resources because uh, drilling only costs you around 10,000 US dollars and also the borehole pump uh, you know setting up the pump the installation the piping will cost you another five thousand uh, dollars water tank and the stand if you want a good water tank and, and stand uh, that will cost you around two thousand uh, two thousand dollars and therefore uh, those are I've, I've put this costing aside because uh, it, may, it may not be um, initially you are plan to do a borehole and therefore you not incur this cost uh, about the water tank maybe um, that is the cost you may incur if maybe you want a very strong water tank that may be able to carry uh, around 20,000 uh, 20,000 liters of water uh, you may need to have a, a very good water stand that costs around 2,000 uh, but basically uh, if maybe you don't have uh, resources you can do maybe a lower a stand that can be able to hold a water tank that is around 5,000 liters and therefore uh, this is uh, not uh, static it will depend on uh, the situation that uh, uh, or the resources at your disposal but when you look at uh, on this other side the drip kit uh, what you require in terms of uh, uh, the uh, the things that you are going to require in order to have a, a successful irrigation set up in your farm we are going to have a, a drip line and for half an acre drip line um, that are in length they are 2500 meters and uh, that will cost you around 225 dollars uh, main pipe 60 meters and the main pipe is the one we say it is pv is pe um, pe pipe that is 60 meters 114 uh, that is two inches and then we have the submain pipe, 60 meters also, that is uh, one and a half inches. That is costing you around 72 dollars. The filter, water filter, one piece, 25 dollars. The control valves, two pieces of uh, two pieces, control valves, because uh, uh, half an acre will only have one point of control, controlling the valve, and uh, that will be two pieces at 28 dollars. Then we have one PET junction um, that is uh, the T junction from the main pipe going into the control and that will be just one piece at uh, I mean uh, it will be two pieces at eight dollars then the elbow 12 pieces at 24 dollars then the adapter socket four pieces at 12 dollars PVC pipe uh, that is uh, for the control valves that is one piece at uh, six dollars then the end cap two pieces at five dollars rubber the rubbers um, you know the rubbers for um, that has placed between uh, the sub main going into the drip to prevent the leakage there that is uh, 36 pieces at four dollars then the start and takeoff connectors that six pieces at eight dollars and then we have now the PVC um, glue one packet at three dollars and the labor uh, setting up all these uh, uh, you know setting up the drip lines and the labor you know all the labor of uh, digging the trench layering the, uh, the the pipes and so forth that will cost you 150 dollars in total uh, you are going to incur a cost of uh, 700 dollars and uh, you'll be able to have a, a setup that is uh, uh, you know a good setup in your farm that uh, you can be able now to be proud of that can be able now to you can be able to grow your crop and be able to you know uh, you know to get a harvest that can be able to recoup your investment and uh, when you are talking about the 700 
Uh, this is what is static, but uh, we are talking about the water tank. If you add the water tank now, the cost plus 2,000, and now the cost will be uh, $2,700. And therefore, uh, you can be able to see the cost of the water tank because of uh, buying the water tank and also setting up a very strong stand is costing uh, quite an, uh, an amount of money. But now the key issue here is once you, you have your 2700 and mark you if uh, you have uh, a tank of 2000 even if you are going to increase this into uh, one acre then you still have your 2000 uh, two thousand dollar stand and tank they be they will be able to you know to serve very well th in that area and therefore once you have this it is a lifetime investment uh, we have seen that uh, for half an acre the irrigation costing will cost you two thousand seven hundred US dollars and um, we are going to look at uh, if you do the irrigation for half an acre is it going to uh, are you, and you plant a crop, is it, are you going to get uh, returns and uh, the returns, how will they come? Will they come after first harvest, just one harvest or two harvests or even one year or ten years? So that is a big question and uh, some of those questions we are going to answer them here and we have an example of uh, some crops that are here that we are going to uh, you know, to, to use them to answer that question. And uh, in these courses, we did a course on uh, onions, and uh, we were able to, cal to, to calculate the net margins per acre for onions to be $5,420 uh, $5, US dollars. And therefore, for half an acre, it will be 2500 And therefore, for 2500 just one harvest for half an acre uh, onions, it means you are almost there. You are almost there because uh, you you are you have only you are less 200, uh, 200 US dollars to get to uh, to cover the cost for half an acre. But of course, uh, suppose maybe we say we are going to divide uh, this into three, such that uh, the first year, once you get your ma your net margin, you say you are going to use one thousand two hundred uh, one thousand. 250 to cover for the cost the cost of the drip irrigation and therefore you, you only need uh, three harvests you only need less than three harvests to be able to cover the cost and even more and therefore um, when you plant onions uh, suppose maybe we say you plant uh, one acre Let's say you plant one acre of onion, it will mean it will be able to cover within the first month. Within the first season, you are going to cover all the costs. And therefore, uh, in terms of uh, the irrigation and then you are going to see you plant an, uh, an onion, we can be able to see for half an acre, it will cover within two seasons. And then for uh, one acre, it will cover the same season, just one crop and you, are, you, are, you have covered. When you go to the tomatoes, uh, you can be able to see we, we, we did uh, a net margin for tomatoes and it came to 11,000 US dollars. For half an acre, it will be around 5,000 US dollars. And therefore, for the tomatoes, when you do one crop, it will be able to cover your irrigation cost. And therefore, even for other crops that you are going to see, all the uh, all the uh, the crop it covers uh, for ir the, the irrigation uh, cost is covered within the first or the second crop. Uh, be it uh, when you are talking about uh, French beans, when you are talking about uh, uh, cabbages, when you are talking about uh, spinach, it will be able to cover the cost. And therefore, uh, we encourage. Um, we, I can encourage you as an agribusiness investor when you are doing, when you have a, 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 a good water source and you are considering irrigation, it is a good uh, aspect to include in your, in your business because uh, once you have the, uh, the irrigation, you are going to, you know, to plant your crop off season when uh, others maybe who depend on uh, rain, uh, rain fed irrigation are uh, out of season. And you are going to plant when, when uh, the rains are not there and therefore the prices are good. And therefore, 
when you are considering uh, doing irrigation for your farm and you have seen the crop that you want to plant, it is just uh, one or two seasons and uh, or one or two crop and you get to your investment bank and of course you know irrigation is an investment for a lifetime and therefore it is uh, investing in irrigation for your farm is actually a worthy cause and it is a you know an investment that has returns